welcome back to my channel it's a girl i'm a day here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so today's video is from nate the lawyer and this one is uh, johnny depp accuser not accused of abuse full circle hmm, okay when karma decides to show up let's get right into the video guys you know, I thought the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard story was essentially over. Depp had proved that Amber Heard lied about being abused. She lied about giving money to charity. She even lied about, <laughs> what am I talking about? She lied about everything, right? She essentially lied about everything. And we saw the media try to convince us that Amber Heard should have won the trial, right? They misled us. They lied to us. They wanted us to believe them and not the facts and evidence that we had just witnessed from the trial, right? They wanted us to believe that what we had seen was not true. Believe all women was what they said. Even if they were obviously lying, it was better to believe than to hold them accountable. Now, on this channel, we obviously covered a lot of those media lies and misdirections, and here's a little playlist for you guys who like to see it. But today, we've come full circle. See, the thing that started off this whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard lawsuit bonanza was this article by the journalist Dan Wooten. And in this article, he claimed that Johnny Depp was a wife beater with what we now know are fake photos of Amber Heard being a bruise. Those photos were fake. Now, how do we know they were faked? Because in court, they were shown to be fake. Now, Dan Wooten went on a campaign to get Johnny Depp fired from the movie Fantastic Beast. This was a movie he did after Parts of the Caribbean. After these allegations came out, he still got another job with J.K. Rollins, who said, okay, you know, you can come do this movie Fantastic Beast. And Dan Wooten went out of his way to try to get Depp fired off that movie for those allegations. And remember, they were just allegations at the time, and now they were proven to be false. Now, hindsight, they're proven to be false, but at that time, they were not proven to be false. Here is what Dan Wooten tweeted when Johnny Depp was working on Fantastic Beasts, and he was trying to get Johnny Depp canceled. Quote, J.K. Rawlings is a Hollywood hypocrite for standing by Fantastic Beast star Johnny Depp, despite allegations he abused ex-wife Amber Heard. So even in that first like little sentence, you can see he's saying cancel him, fire him based off these allegations alone. Today, I reveal a backlash from the hashtag MeToo movement and demand to know why she's hellbent on supporting Depp. And he links the article and it says Dan Wooten, and the title is, as you can see, how can J.K. Rowling be generally happy to cast wife beater Depp in film? Now, obviously, Johnny Depp went and proved that he wasn't the person abusing Amber Heard. She was the person abusing him. He was the victim. She was the abuser. And she had a history of abuse. But again, don't let the facts get in the way of a good story. Dan Wooten was trying to get him fired. And this was from April 2018. But now we've come full circle. See, the hunter is now the hunted. So to get everybody up to speed, Dan Wooten's ex-lover is accusing Dan Wooten of some unthinkable things. Allegations stemming from criminal activity to all kinds of crazy stuff. And Dan Wooten has claimed that he made some mistakes in the past, but he denies, obviously, the most serious allegations. But think about this. Dan Wooten went out of his way to try to cancel Johnny Depp over mere allegations, even to the point where he got personally involved. Remember, he was part of the lawsuit. You know, he's taking pictures with Amber Heard, you know, congratulating her after, after they, the son, won the lawsuit in England. But now... I want to play this first three minutes of Dan Wu Wooten's mea culpa or, or him allegedly defending himself on his show. And I want you to listen to it carefully because he says a couple of things that I think are fascinating. Like, you'll hear him say something like, you know, he doesn't want to be canceled and that he's learned a lot and that he's the victim of abuse and, you know, it was the other person who was abusing him, not the other way around. And look at the similarities there are between what he's saying now and what Depp was saying during the Amber Heard trial because you're going to hear Wooten say he's the one that was abused. Just like Depp was saying, hey, I was the one that was abused. Dan Wooten didn't care about what Depp said. He just cared to destroy him. Now, the shoe's on the other foot and he's the one who's about to be destroyed. Based on, again, allegations. But listen to what he says. This is GB News, Britain's News Channel. I'm Dan Wooten. And as a journalist, I feel uncomfortable being the story. Uh, but I've always promised you 
that this show has no spin and no bias and no censorship. So I owe it to you to address this. Uh, as you probably don't know, hopefully you don't know, because you're not insane enough to pay attention to the cesspit of social media, these past few days I have been the target of a smear campaign by nefarious players with an axe to grind. Notably by an ex-partner who I was, and this is something I've never spoken about and it's very difficult to talk about publicly, but who I was previously abused by and who has been on a campaign to destroy my life. In the past, he has written to me confessing to being a, quote, psychopath. And I saw this firsthand when he threatened in writing to, quote, slit my throat many years after we had broken up. I have been forced to report his behavior and threats to police. They are now investigating. He has created an untrue story about me and appears to have been working with an organization who are intent on closing down this channel, whose reporters include a convicted phone hacker. The Guardian has also reported it tonight. What a surprise. Other unspeakable slurs have been made by a convicted extortionist I have never even met, who has a long history of blackmailing gay men and was sent to jail for a number of years by a judge who said his behavior was, quote, compulsive and provided a high risk to the public. I, like all fallible human beings, have made errors of judgment in the past, but the criminal allegations being made against me are simply untrue. I would like nothing more than to address those spurious claims. I could actually spend the next two hours doing so, but on the advice of my lawyers, I cannot comment further. But I have been thinking much over the past few days about the current state of social media, where any allegation can be made in an attempt to get someone cancelled, but it is impossible to defend yourself against thousands of trolls. That said, I am coming on air tonight with a lot of humility, too. I think being in the middle of this witch hunt has made me think a lot about the sort of journalist and broadcaster I aspire to be, one focused on the massive political threats facing this country, not on personal attacks. I mean, who doesn't have regrets? Should I be cancelled for them many years later? Or do you accept that I have learned and changed. So, with all that, do you think Dan Wooten should be canceled? Now, he's begging not to be canceled, but do you think he should be canceled? Is it kind of what goes around comes around? Remember, these are allegations. Nothing has been proven yet, but that didn't stop Dan Wooten from going after Depp, right? Even with the fake photos, it didn't stop Dan Wooten from going after Johnny Depp. Now he's begging, please give him a second chance. Don't believe allegations. He needs to defend himself. Let him keep his job. It's funny. It's easy to be the accuser, but now when he's the accused, it's a whole different story. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. I honestly don't have any sympathy for Dan Moon. I agree with his takes on Harry and Meghan, but I have no sympathy for this man. He's a scumbag. And now he has to eat the same crap that he was serving out. But tell me where I'm wrong in the comment section. Tell me if you feel sorry for good old Dan and think that now years later after he's tried to destroy this man's career, now he finds himself in the same situation that Depp was in. Has he really turned over a new leaf? Is he really against being canceled? Or is it just something for him to say to try to make us believe that he is now turned over a new leaf? Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube. Nice. Um... I, for one, I'm not the kind of person that likes to pay evil, even no matter how you wrong me. So, um, I know he he was in the wrong, and now he's not facing the same fate. But I would just think, for me, I don't think he should be he should be met with the same uh, experience. Uh, but I think one thing I know that you, you can never escape karma. That's one thing. No matter how how repented you've become you can't escape it so i know that no matter what people try to do he will still experience this so I, I just pray that he has good people around him that will help him through this experience well i would love to hear from you guys do you think that he deserves to be forgiven what do you think about this whole 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 saga this is the first time i'm even coming to know about him i know i, I know i've heard a little bit about the uh, johnny depp saga with uh 
with um, Amber, but I, I didn't really know that there was somebody that I was, you know, instigating it and making it to be more, more than it should, should have been. So, but let me hear from you guys. What's your thought? What's your opinion on this? And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself. Be you, do you, but do not conform. And be happy, guys. Bye.